In this video, we're going to show you how to check your head pressure. The only thing you need for checking your head pressure is a bathroom scale. You can see this is a very simple bathroom scale. Checking the head pressure is one of the most important things you can do for the continued maintenance and operation of your machine. You want to check it regularly, especially if you have very high usage on your machine or you just got it back from a service or a, a new machine because shipping can affect the head pressure, which then can affect uh, the operation of your machine. So you want to crank the head up, and move the sliding plate out of the way, all the way to the right, take the scale, center it in the machine, the, uh, the uh, numbers over the middle of the machine, and then you're just going to simply crank it down. Crank it all the way down until the clutch uh, clicks over a few times. We're going to do this three or four times, uh, recording the value at each spot. Sometimes the first uh, measurement is a little different than, than the subsequent measurement. So once you've done it four times, you get a good feeling for the av average measurement. For a sandpaper belt machine, the readings need to be between 80 and 90 pounds. For a rubber belt machine, the readings should be between 75 and 90 pounds. If the, if the head pressure of your machine is outside of these ranges, refer to our website, the troubleshooting section on our website, to see how to correct your head pressure. 